pregnant. And it's also my birthday, just so you know. Today is my 27th birthday and I am 22 weeks pregnant. It has flown by like crazy. So sorry I have not done an update in a while. Um, my laptop just stopped charging, the battery died, and then the cord wouldn't charge it. So I couldn't edit or upload or do anything. So I am really behind on the videos that I've wanted to post it. And by the way, we do know the gender of our baby. It's you're gonna have to wait to know what all of that meant when we actually post the gender reveal video, which I know a few people have been asking me about. I am so sorry. I will get it posted as soon as my charger and new battery and everything comes in for my laptop. So once that's in, this video will be posted and the gender reveal video will be posted. So. Thank you for being patient. I'm so sorry. I'm really excited to share everything with you so I don't have to keep saying offspring and I can say, but you know, you'll have to wait. <laughs> now, as for symptoms and things of such nature, I've been feeling good still. I mean, my pregnancy, my gosh, I have been so blessed with just everything that I have been experiencing. It has been pretty smooth, which I did not expect. I just really expected to feel sick and to just feel unmotivated and everything, but I actually feel kind of the opposite. I mean, there are days. There are days where I just feel like I don't want to do anything. Like recently, the dishes were in the sink. We don't have dishwasher, and so we have to you know, wash our dishes by hand. And I really didn't want to just that particular day, so I let them slide. And I normally never ask Jonathan to do the dishes because I kind of take that as my responsibility. But as the days kept going on and on and on, the dishes just kept piling up until I realized I am just being really lazy. That's it. No excuses. I'm being lazy. I don't want to do them. So I kind of went over to Jonathan and said, please, I'm so sorry. I'll never, anytime soon anyway, ask you to do this again. So please, will you do the dishes? And he's been very kind about it. <laughs> he did the dishes. And, Ever since then, I've been keeping up with it, but oh my gosh, it's horrible. It's really bad. That was bad. I was lazy. I was lazy. Um, like here and there, I'll throw up or do some things. It's completely disgusting, but it's really, really rare if that ever happens. My face, though, that's the number one thing. My face is so dry, which I am not used to. I normally have really nice skin, like I've said before and I just feel like a zombie. Like, I feel like my skin's just falling off of my face, which is not, of course. It's just really dry, and there's patches of dryness, and then redness, and I am not used to that at all. It drives me crazy. So I need to find some sort of really nice face wash that will, like, moisturize me and just keep me looking fresh <laughs> because it, it itches. Like, it's so dry. It itches, especially around my chin area, and then here I have patches, and here I have a really bad one, and then even one on my eyelid, like that doesn't happen to me. So it's been interesting. And my lips are so chapped, which my lips get chapped in the winter, and that's it. My chips are chapped, my chips are chapped. My lips are chapped all the time now, just constantly. And it's not like it hurts, it's just irritating. It's just dry. Luckily, I have this amazing lip balm chapstick stuff. I have used Carmex forever, for as long as I can remember, because I just love it. My husband doesn't really care for it, but I love this stuff. I sometimes kind of overdo it with putting it on my lips, but I just love the way it feels. And my lips just stay moisturized for hours. I don't have to keep applying it. I love this stuff. So this has been saving me so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I finally feel like I look pregnant. I kept telling people, or especially my husband, like I feel like I just look like I have a gut, but I don't feel like I look pregnant necessarily. And he kept saying I was crazy. He kept saying that I was crazy and that I did look pregnant. And I didn't believe it, didn't believe it, didn't believe it. And then when I was 21 weeks, so 
last week. I went to help my brothers move from their apartments down in Provo and they moved actually up here into the same apartment complex. That's been exciting. And when I was helping, or at least keeping them company, doing that kind of stuff since I can't lift a lot of things, I saw myself in a mirror straight on. And normally straight on, I would see nothing. I never thought I looked pregnant. But I, it looked like I had a nice balloon underneath my shirt. Like clearly a bump. And I was so excited. I kept turning to the side and just looking at myself. And oh, it's been so nice that I finally feel like I look pregnant. Thank you. <laughs> and speaking of the belly, I am finally starting to feel real good, consistent movement. In the last few weeks from about 18, 19 weeks, I was feeling little flutters and little flicks and things like that. And it, about last week, I've really been feeling good kind of bumps, like good little hits, you know? And yesterday, I felt really strong, consistent kicks all day long. And I was so excited. I tried to get Jonathan to feel it. His hand was right where I was feeling it, but he still couldn't feel anything. Hopefully soon for him, he'll be able to feel the baby. But I have been feeling offspring moving like crazy. And it's usually right below my belly button, like in that kind of area. And it just feels like bam, bam, bam. Like it's clearly not gas or anything like that. It is baby. So that's been so much fun to feel little child moving around. I can't wait to see those little movements in real life. I've been craving french fries, like especially just really good crunchy french fries. I'll eat any kind, but like really nice good french fries, like the ones from where my sister works. They are amazing. With an amazing fry sauce that my sister has at the restaurant that she works at, it's just pretty much like mayonnaise, ketchup, some cayenne pepper, and I think she said some garlic. And there might be other stuff that she's not sure about, but oh my gosh, I don't know what the recipe is exactly, or the, the right measurements and everything, but they, oh my gosh, it tastes amazing. And she gave me a huge bag full of little packets of them, of like, you know, little cups with little lids. And oh my gosh, I could eat it with everything. I could just stick a straw in there. It's so good, I love it. I tried making my own. And it was good, but it wasn't the same. I was clearly missing something, but it's so good, man. Mm, so good. Pretty much that's it. I don't think there's really too much that I have forgotten. That's been pretty consistently me for the last few weeks since my last update, which was what, 16 weeks? Well, it's kind of been a while, so 22 weeks now. Sorry about that. I'll try to keep a little more, more consistency, and hopefully my laptop won't poop out on me. We don't need pooping out laptops or laptops pooping out. Whatever. We don't need either one. That's bad. Thank you for watching and being patient with me. And hopefully soon you'll be able to see the gender reveal video, which I'm so excited about. Wow, like I said, so excited. And yeah, stay tuned for baby stuff. I love you super much, and I will see you in my next update.